Well, welcome to another Inside Lansing, where today's guest is Lisa Karajcek, the director of the Lansing Public Library. Lisa, thanks for being here today. Well, thanks for the invitation. I'm looking forward to it. So you're our new library director, and I, I guess I'd like to just get a little bit of your background, a little bit of history there. Mm -hmm. What uh, what has your work experience been like before you came here? How does that relate okay. and up to the current present? Okay, so I graduated from library school at Dominican University 20 years ago, and my first job was at the Richmond Park Public Library, right out of graduate school. Um, and I was the assistant director there, small library. Um, I got recruited to become the director at the Stager South Chicago Heights Public Library. Again, another small library. I worked there for about seven and a half years. And I had a friend who was the director at the Madison Library who asked me to come work for her. She thought that what I was doing was interesting and good and saw that I could make a difference. And I went over there as the head of the adult services department and I worked as the assistant director. Uh, I was there for seven years, and then when this job opened up, I was really excited because I know that Debbie Albrecht, the former director, had done such a great job with the renovation, and I knew that she was very interested in outreach into the community and built great relationships. So I saw this as a really great opportunity to work with my strengths, and I wouldn't have to worry about building facilities because I really don't like doing that. I'd rather focus on community and staff development. So I went through the process and the board and the staff selected me to work for your community. So you were drawn to kind of the culture behind Lansing, behind the Lansing Library and right. how it is. Right, exactly. Because I had known Debbie for about 15 years. We had worked together and she had talked about the library and you know it's just been such a warm and welcoming experience for me here. The staff is great. Uh, the board is fantastic. The people I've met at the village are, have been really supportive. So it's been, you know, obviously I'm still in that learning period. It's only been four months since I've been here, but they've made it a lot easier for me. Now, you've also volunteered in uh, various places yes. that relate to the library, one mm -hmm. being Atlas. Could you talk a yes. little bit about your time there? In 2008, when the economy crashed, there was really, there was financial difficulties in many libraries and trying to find a way to support continuing education and staff development that didn't cost us so much. Usually what we would have to do is send people up to Burr Ridge and that was a pretty hefty cost just to send them for mileage and back and that would be a whole day up there. So we decided a group of us, probably five or six different librarians and directors, we got together to try and create an organization that we could support development of staff in the south suburbs and that's what atlas is and we did that in 2008 and it's still going strong which is fantastic i no longer have to be on the board i left um, and it's good to see something that you create which is growing and has kept its strength without you having to man the helm right so Oh, well, you left a legacy there. We did. I know once a year we do trainings for uh, board trustees of all the sub. There's like 30 different libraries involved now. Oh, wow. Okay. And we started with eight. Yeah. So <laughs> I think that's that... A, that's a big uh, yes, jump there. So exactly. So. Now, I didn't do it myself. I worked in partnership with other librarians, but that's kind of what library work is. It's creating relationships and trying to expand what you do into outreaching communities. And this outreach was internal for our own staff to become better staff members and to give that back to the community because that's really what happens. That's great. Yeah, yeah. So as library director, what does a day in the life kind of look like over there? You know, there is no typical day in the life <laughs> of a library. I didn't library. think there was, but it I thought not. I asked. It is not. Could you give us kind of a okay. an idea yes. of some things <laughs> okay. that we might see in one day and another right. day? Right. So obviously the first thing I do is check my email. I get in. There's a million emails to be looked at to see what's going on. But, you know, every day is kind of different because you're dealing with people. And your interactions with people are different every day. So, you know, in the winter, the winter months, it's a little slower with people coming in and out of the library. Uh, we're hoping to change that. I think that, you know, the last two years have really kind of changed people's habits at the library. And so the focus is going to be reaching out into the community to bring them back and to show them what we have to offer the community to come back to the library, that we're safe, everything's good, 
we have a lot of things for you to do and have fun with at the library. Mentioning things to do, yes. programming coming up and coming. What yes. programming could we look forward to or what programming could people, they, that would bring them back in okay. for the year of 2022? Okay, so right now it's Black History Month and we have a Black History Month scavenger hunt at the library. We have posters throughout the library and we have a little sheet where you fill it out and then you go into a drawing at the end of the month for everybody who participates. We have Dr. Seuss's 118th birthday coming up, so Youth Services is having a birthday party for him. Of course, we have two more Friday night concerts. The next one will be March, the first Friday in March. It's a Cajun band. And then the last one inside the building is the first Friday in April, and that is Rosie and the Rivers, and it's kind of an old-fashioned rock and roll show. Yeah. <laughs> so we're kind of excited. Um, we also have things like we have Facebook Live on our Facebook. We have a trivia show there. We're also going to be working with Poor on Roy's, and once a month we're going to be doing trivia or game night there for adults. Okay. Yeah, and National Library Week is coming up in April. That's April 3rd through the 9th. And so we're going to have different activities at the library. The theme this year is connect with your library. And so connecting is just not through books. It's just not through resources. It's just not technology. We're looking to connect with the community and have community members connect with each other. It's been kind of a long, isolated period, I think, yeah. for people. And people have been lonely. Yes. And so yeah. you know, we want to have one night where you can come in and do a variety of activities, have a small book discussion, come meet a friend, have coffee. We're going to do puzzles. We'll have a whole different variety of things throughout the library. Um, not to brag, but I'm going to invite you to the last Friday of that week is lunch with Lisa. So we're going to have a lunch with Lisa where you can come meet me if you want to come to the library. I'll be glad to come have All lunch right. with Lisa. We will provide lunch for you. But um, so those are the things that we have planned as activities. But I think what we really want to talk about and get out into the community is our Idea Lab. It has a lot of technological tools you can come and play with. Most of it's AV, so you can create videos, you can create music, uh, you can convert your old VHS tapes to DVD. Now the quality is going to depend, of course, on your VHS tapes. Yes, of course. You know, and most of them are pretty old by now, and you've probably <laughs> watched them a lot. They'll probably be a little grainy, but, you know, that's up to you to come if you want to try. You can do video editing or photo editing. So just look at the website, which is www.lansingpl.org, and we have a schedule that the Idea Lab is open for, and just call or go online and make a reservation, and you can come and play, and we have somebody down there who can help you if you don't know what to do. It just sounds amazing. There's so much to do at the library, yeah. so much. Is there a place that people could go maybe online, or if they, you know, I guess if they want to, uh, is there a way for them to find out What's coming up if there's more? Because I'm sure there's more that's oh, coming up yes, than just what you absolutely. said. We could talk probably for like yes. <laughs> probably hours exactly. about that. Exactly, rambling so on about where, what's going where, on. Could, where could people go to find that information? So I would direct you to the library's website, which is www.lansingpl.org. You can give us a call at the library at 474-2447, and we can help you. And if you want, you can sign up, and you can get email blasts. And you can, they can come right to your email if you have email. Great. We could sit here and talk for a long we time can. about everything going on at the mm -hmm. library, but we only have so much time. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to just ask one more question, sure. which would be, you came to the Lansing Public Library. You've been to many different, you've been in the mm -hmm. library system for a while now. Mm -hmm. So what is special about Lansing and what do you love about Lansing's public library? You know what I love about the Lansing Library? Now, again, I've only been here four months, and it takes a while to understand culture of where you're working. Yes. But I think for me, and the reason I got into libraries to begin with, is it's about service, service to people in your community. And I work with a team over there that is dedicated to doing the best that they can. And, you know, Deb did a great job of helping them, you know, move along in their careers and getting them educated. So they're at that space where they're giving the best that they can to the community that they serve. And I look around every day and I'm just really amazed by these people that I work with every day. Well, we're glad to have you here in town. Thank you. We look forward to seeing what you're going to bring to the library in the next few years. So. Um, we're going to look for, we're going to watch out for that. We're going to probably have shows there and everything. So great. We're looking forward to it and we can't wait to see what you, what you bring. And I want to thank you again for being on the show. Well, thanks for having me. And I look forward to seeing everybody in Lansing come to the library. Thank you. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on Inside Lansing.